And who wants this kind of house? Cold, dull, without life? This was not my dream. It was the dream of my ex-wife, Susanna. She insisted on straight lines, thin, light and modern, without any ornaments. And I was in search of what I had always imagined, a beautiful neoclassical project, the symbol of permanence, all that I had achieved in life, something with history. The project was the catalyst for the end of our marriage. I know that now. We were fighting from the beginning, from the purchase of the lot to the choice of architects. And that is how that hellish house in concrete, wood and glass began taking shape, started to burn. It was either me or the house. And where is Susanna now? At home. She thinks only about the house. She's in love with it and cares for it more than for any living human being. Susanna never had as much passion for me as she now has for those straight lines. She cleans every corner so carefully and lovingly, patiently arranges every object and everything must be impeccable and in its exact place, except for me. There never was space for me there. The swimming pool was my only victory in the entire project after a lot of arguing. I bet Susanna never even went in for a dip. The kitchen had to be kept impeccably clean, no mess. Heaven forbid if I'd wanted to fry an egg, if I'd left one of those pans dirty. This aseptic, industrial-like rigor was unbearable. As long as Susanna is enslaved by the house, she will never be free. A house must be comfortable and have velvet curtains, golden metals, leather sofa, marble floors, plaster mouldings, crystal lighting, just like a normal house. How could anyone be happy in that charmless, wide-open space? I want privacy in my life without having the impression of being observed at every moment. I definitely don't need enormous windows. And the architects. Cynics. They think that the house should defy everyday life, teaching me how I should live. In fact, thinking about it, they're responsible for all of this. This situation will not last very long. She'll realize that she's been foolish, building that sort of house that way. The absurdity of her passionate love for this house. She will abandon the metallic door frames, and come back into my arms. She will not resist, I'm certain of it. Shortly, she will take her eyes off the flat flagstones and Susanna will be mine again. The house will be mine and will be the way I've always dreamt with pediments and ornamented columns. It will be a home as it should be, impressive and beautiful and classic.